if you're someone like Roger Penrose and then you start to branch out in your later years, you have a Nobel Prize, then you're told you have Nobel's curse because now you're a bit too woo. It's a tough rope to walk. Roger Penrose is a brilliant, brilliant mathematical physicist who's made absolutely central contributions to the field. And as a result of that, ideas that he has that are not that promising actually get way more attention than they otherwise would. So I don't, I don't think that he gets any disadvantage from being a famous, respected Nobel Prize winning physicist. I get I think that he gets a little bit more respect than uh, uh, the idea itself would if some nobody who was a postdoc proposed exactly the same idea. I see. I see. So there's respect in the public sphere and then there's respect in, in the academic sphere. It seems like there's a trade-off. You either get public respect, but if you do so, you, it, you exchange some, some academic cred. <laughs> 